Welcome back to part four of Art in the Kitchen. In this video, we are gonna create salt dough and cloud dough out of materials you can find in your pantry. Salt dough is great because it has a clay-like consistency and can be baked in the oven to make it hard. In order to make salt dough, you'll need these three easy ingredients, all-purpose flour, water, and salt. You wanna make sure to have a measuring cup to help you measure out the different amounts, a mixing bowl, and a spoon. It would also be beneficial to have a rolling pin, parchment paper, and a cookie sheet ready for baking. Here is the recipe to make salt dough. You will need two parts flour to one part water and one part salt. You can see on the left hand side, you can make a little bit of salt dough and then I added a recipe on the right hand side, which is what I followed. Now let's get started mixing. You wanna start with your flour, add your salt, and then slowly add the water in. When it becomes too difficult to continue mixing with a spoon, try kneading it with your hands. Now that our salt dough is thoroughly mixed, we need to let it rest. Now that our salto has rested for at least 20 minutes, it's time to make our creations. The best type of things to create with salto are flat cookie cutter like shapes. Here are a few ideas. Just remember, you're gonna add the extra decorations after it comes out of the oven. With the remainder of my salt dough, I would like to make a leaf-shaped dish that I'm going to bake in the oven inside this pie dish. I'm going to ball up two balls of aluminum foil to allow the leaf to just drape over top of it. This way, when it bakes, it'll stay in that position. You can choose to freehand your leaf like I am here, or you can go find a leaf outside and impress it into the dough with a rolling pin. If you decided to impress it into the dough, it would pick up all the fine details and veins of the leaf. I even tried one by pushing my dog's paw into the dough. Lay out your creations on parchment paper and you will want to bake them for about two hours. Set your oven to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't forget to poke a hole if you want it to hang. The salt dough has been baking for about an hour and a half, so let's check on them. They look like they've been hardening up, which is awesome. Check on the bottom one. Looks good. Just 30 more minutes. It's been two hours and my thinner pieces are ready to go. Now you have the option to leave them as they are and string them up. This could be a necklace or an ornament or you can paint them. You can paint them with Craftsmart paint, same kind of paint you would get at Michael's. You could try watercolor. You could even try a marker.
check out my final results. I took a Sharpie and wrote number one mom. This could be a Mother's Day gift. And then I added some designs to my moon. Check out all of my salt dough creations. You'll see my necklaces here. My leaf turned out awesome. My love heart. My bulldog paw print. And then my lily paw print. She's a miniature Dotson. Cloud dough is another fun clay-like material that you can create using materials found in your kitchen and one material you might find in your bathroom. In order to make cloud dough, these are the simple ingredients that you need. The most important is cornstarch and cheap scented conditioner. You will also need a mixing bowl, a spoon, and a measuring cup. You will need two cups of cornstarch and one cup of conditioner. First, you'll want to add the cornstarch to the bowl and then you can add the conditioner all at once. Then mix away. You'll notice I add a little bit more conditioner to help with the consistency. So the recipe isn't exact. So now I'm all finished mixing up my cloud dough. It's very similar to model magic or a squishy. I decided I wanted to add color to my cloud dough. So I put on some gloves, separated it into three and added some food coloring. So here you'll see I finished the green and the red and I'm working on the purple. I probably spent more time adjusting my gloves than I actually did kneading the dough, but I cannot express enough how important those gloves are. After kneading the dough for about two minutes, I was able to take the gloves off without the food coloring dyeing my hands. This made it much easier for me to mix. Here's my final result. You can sculpt cloud dough into any shape that you'd like or just use it like a squishy. Thanks for watching part four of Art in the Kitchen. I'll see you guys next time.